Oh. Oh, right, Yins, guys. I'm gonna do a quick video here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tie my hair back this time, but, um, real quick, so it don't get all in my face, that would help. But I'm gonna do a little bit of. I should I should say I'm gonna demo some uh, knuckle jumping real quick too. I mean, any ends guys want to try this? This would be something. Assuming that you've already got used to standing and dancing around a little bit on your fists, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna show you the basic idea, you know, but. My goal is to eventually be able to jump pretty high, but I'm going to show you the basic idea here. Oh yeah, you should be able to thunder out a bunch of knuckle push-ups before you even try this too, because you've got to pretty much keep doing it and set a record. If you want to use gloves, don't kill your wrists. Make sure you're, uh, have, make, you got to make sure you have advanced pretty much in this before you try any of this, but like assume push-up position and just keep jumping up and down you can push yourself to go a little higher but start I mean even if you jump a little bit then gradually you know maybe do it ten times okay four times then maybe eight times and maybe ten times see how many times you can do it before you give out it's a little bit dangerous too like I said you gotta you better be a little bit proficient in everything else in my videos before you try it, but uh, I'm gonna try to count out a few. I'm gonna take this microphone off so you can hear the noise and give you the basic idea. There, you see that? Trying to give you the basic idea of um, different kind of strengths that you can develop. Like, not just the knuckle push-up strength, and not just the walking around strength, which you need, which walking forward is good, but walking sideways also strengthens these abdominals. The abdominals are pulsing back and forth, the left and right side of the abdominals, and uh, and that's some uh, pretty grueling shit there that works better than actually sit-ups and crunches. But yeah, you got that walking strength, then you got the push-up strength. But then you want to develop some pulsing strength there too. And all, all of this stuff in my videos gives you a little bit more confidence. Especially if you're not big and stocky. And... Uh, takes away a lot of your fear, which unlike a few of my other critics uh, say, you know, a lot of them pretty much keep their mouth shut. I forget very few trolls, but <laughs> but I do these mostly on the four fist anyway. You can do them on these. The jumping guy, uh, it's a little bit more dangerous doing it on these fists because you get off, a, if you go off a little bit. You can do push-ups on them, but if you go off a little bit while you're while you're jumping up and down, if you go the slightest bit off, it's easier to break these two knuckles right here, but the four fist. That's why I do the jumping pretty much mostly on only on the four fist. But then for the walking I can fluctuate between these and these. 
like say when I do the knuckle walking to music like I said before if you're doing a four minute song two minutes of the song like this two minutes of the song like this yeah the reason being that when you're first getting the hang of this you might start ripping your skin off matter of fact if you get past four minutes if you can go past a four minute song maybe you're better off wearing gloves yeah we'll do some bare knuckle do some bare knuckle you need you need to do both you know a little bit of bare knuckle and then uh, when you wanna primarily concentrate on the uh, muscular endurance part use the gloves but then when you want a little bit of muscular endurance and the uh, what do you call it strengthening of the actual bones in the hands you know stri like for the uh, strength as far as bare handed is concerned gain the strength that way to be able to knock on things with the bare hands do that for a while but like anything past four, four minutes I find it tears the skin off the knuckles but then if you want more more muscular endurance use the gloves that way you won't lose the bunch of skin but yeah that's basically what I'm trying to say um, you need the bare knuckle stuff too then if what you can do is like you can sort of go past four minutes I have already but do it slow and steady rhythm like when I, I find when I was going like a maniac you can tear the skin off but then if you do it slow and steadily try to place each uh, knuckle exact you know what I mean but I know when you first start out start this out even a knuckle push up a lot of you guys you're you'll find your wrists will be shaking and all that this is some information providing that you've uh, transcended gotten past that you know what I mean I'm just doing a bunch of random jibber jabber I'm not gonna go and redo a video just because I messed up my talking to hell with it you got the basic idea you could figure it out but gonna try this again here you're getting the position you got to be able to pulse a little bit too and you should be able to do a little bit of that and then walking left to right and then oh yeah then when you're doing all this to uh, one of your favorite songs you're gonna feel like giving up and giving out so why you gotta wag your back and wag your head wag your shoulders a little bit so you don't stiffen because when your back s starts to feel like it's gonna break and snap you gotta just wag it out and then you can stand to go a little longer but uh, that's just pretty much how you do it Yeah, I think that's about it. Damn it! I'm dropping my shit. There we are. A little bit of showing of the whole area here. The whole computer screen deal computer here, desk there, another computer and printer there, the whole deal back there, the sliding mirror door here, yeah turn that a little bit, that's like a sliding mirror door, you can see in the mirror the other window in the computer reflecting, like got that, uh, that's actually a double mirror door, it actually closes into two doors and goes through to my other room there bedroom and the porch but when you see in the mirror you're seeing that window there but the whole area there little bit of junk to actually um, 
fix up there. <laughs> but I think in some of my other videos you've seen the outer porch, which was pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, this video ended up being a bunch of random jibber jabber and a little bit of demo. It's already watchable to some of my longtime faithful viewers because they understand some of the concepts that I've been demonstrating. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. There you have it. And uh, I think the reason like I'm able to do all that jumping, see it only turns red a little bit, because I've been at it for a while, but when you guys first start with knuckle push-ups bear like at, you're going to turn like really red. And actually, when you first start out, just keep standing on them for a while, maybe try to do a push-up or two. If you have to do about 10 or 20 sessions of two knuckle push-ups, do it. Try a little bit of standing. I mean, some of you guys may have tried it already. If you guys did, you can feel free to comment, but... Uh, <laughs> I know when I first started out, you know, don't give up. Just stand on them, even if you do two push-ups. Uh, take a rest. Do another session of just two. Stand on them a while. Use the four fist and the other fist. As long as it takes, because you you may have to just stand on them and try maybe two knuckle push-ups. If you, if you want to do 10 or 20 sessions a day with nothing but two knuckle push-ups, and maybe some sessions just standing on air, standing on them, maybe here and there attempting to walk on them, you know. And, and like in my other videos, once you've gotten proficient with just regular knuckle push-ups, maybe move one hand like further forward than the other or like do them like this so you concentrate some of the weight on one hand you know I explained that in some of my other videos I even have a video demo of it somewhere that concept where I was doing them like position my hands different ways and even maybe and even putting one hand like up higher like on a block or a a can or a box or some kind of object where the other hand is on the floor and doing the push-ups with them whether it's flat-handed or fist push-ups that's a good way to do it so you get used to shifting the weight on one hand over the other so in my book there's no proper technique unless you join the army where they make you have your back completely straight that's what they call a discipline you know what I mean a military discipline nothing wrong with it it's cool but I'm saying at home you got a m little bit more freedom at home if you want to expand your threshold and if you don't want to get discouraged what you got to do is just if your back ain't totally straight don't worry about it just do sessions that ain't perfect you know once you get started then later on you can uh, uh, that'll straight like the technique will strengthen itself out like you do a session or two like with your back totally straight military style like do it when you're ready for it but if your back ain't totally straight just do it anyway and do it anyway and just go through with it so that way you don't get all discouraged and want to quit you know what I mean it's like in a privacy of your own home you can don't worry about your back being straight but but like I said in some of the other sessions that I do with the walking and the different kind of things you want to wag your back and wag your neck you know to kind of almost like a cat or a dog does you know just wag it out you know what I mean when you start to feel like it's your back or neck is gonna break a little bit you know loose loosen it out of there wag it out of like when you're feel like uh, quitting or giving up and uh, just shake it off wag it off you know what I mean and you can go like a little longer because that's why your spine and everything is uh, the way it is so you can bend it and snake it all kind of ways you know what I mean then you can do st uh, sessions with um, being just totally straight too but that's my 15 minutes that's it uh, see you next time